Sophia report shows that for the first time, aquaculture has overtaken capture fisheries in being the main source of aquatic products. Uh, we have produced 185 million tons of aquatic food, 51% of those coming from aquaculture. This is a great thing because it allows us to continue using fisheries and aquaculture to end hunger and poverty, not by reducing capture fisheries, which remain stable, but by growing aquaculture above the production of capture fisheries. We know that aquatic foods are very important for nutrition. There has been a recognition of this over time. We have 750 million people that are suffering from hunger today, uh, a number that is not being reduced. We need to produce more and to produce better. Aquaculture continues to grow and is a great tool for us to fight hunger and to fight poverty using natural resources sustainably. Aquaculture has been very successful, but 90% of global aquaculture is produced in Asia. For example, 1.9% is produced in Africa. If we need to continue growing aquaculture properly, we need to make sure that this geographical imbalance is addressed. This is something that we are putting a lot of attention, because in order to maintain consumption rates of aquatic foods in places where population is growing, you have to increase production. Africa is a focus uh, for us and we need to make sure that this is successful. How do you do that? Well, we have a very clear package when we go to countries. We start with looking at the um, legal framework and the policy environment for the development of the industry. We work with the private sector to attract investment. We build capacity to make sure that the technical knowledge is transferred to the country and then we make sure that we bring the infrastructure in support of that development with the countries. The report provides scenarios uh, of what we expect to happen by the year 2032. The projection is that by that year the sector will grow by about 10% in production and this will allow uh, our consumption rate to grow to 21.3 kilograms per person per year compared to the 20.7 uh, in 2022. By 2050, the issue though is more complicated. Even if we were to just keep the current consumption rate, because of population growth, the sector will need to grow by 25%. That's the global figure. But in Africa alone, it would have to grow by 75%, because it is the region that will see an increase in population. So the biggest challenge is how to feed 9.7 billion people in the year 2050. We need to put our heads together, ensure that we have the technical elements together and the political will. We know what is needed, but everyone has to walk that walk.